Hey YouTube, Wagwan, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and change this motor oil and I'm also gonna reset the oil schedule maintenance or if you have it or if you have if it is if it don't have it I'm gonna set it if it have that feature. So we're working on this Kia Sorento. Doesn't matter what year you have as long as it look like this. Same procedure, we're changing the oil. First thing first, I'm gonna take this off. The oil you take, 5W30. Always put full synthetic. So with that said, let's raise the car up and get underneath the car. So guys, once again, compressor won't make me be great, but we just need to remove this lower engine cover. It seems to be held up by 10 millimeter. So that's what we're gonna take out. Um, some of them might have a cutout right here for the for the oil filter and the and the uh, front, like a service door, but this one doesn't have that. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that 10 millimeter. So the next step, we're gonna take out this right here. It's gonna be 17 millimeter. And right over here is your oil filter cartridge. This one bring a cartridge style filter. So let's go ahead and remove that 17 millimeter. 17 millimeter, link will be in the description for the tools, guys. And also for the oil and filter. let that drain out as you can see you see how it come out in a steady stream that's because I removed the, the oil cap so it can get air inside or else it would be just like jerking all over the place so while that's drain I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out the oil filter it's gonna be a 27 millimeter socket our wrench, whatever you have. So you want to make sure you position this too, so the oil don't fall, um, go on the ground. So we're gonna clean this up, make sure this is nice and clean. And the filter is still on there. So we're gonna remove that. All right, so next we're gonna take out the filter. Just hold it, pull it down to you. And it should come out just like that. So the writing go at the bottom. So when I get the new filter, Gotta make sure the writing stays at the bottom. Push it up in there. So once you push it up in there, you can leave that. And then you wanna get this and get a, a pick. 
remove this right here, the O-ring. Okay, you should get a new O-ring in the bag of the filter. If I can find where I put the box. So, Install it. So try to get it lube up. That's good. And then you can put it in. So you can put your finger in the oil and put some lube around it. So you want to push it in. Put it there. You're going to feel like a little resistance first. Then you push it and it's going to pop through and then you just tighten it up. So you can use a torque wrench. Uh, you don't, if you don't have a torque wrench, you can use a regular tools. It's no big problem. Just do not over tighten. The, um, just don't over tighten the filter. So. As you see, I didn't really put a lot of tension on it. As, as long as it's touched, I don't force it to go anymore. But that's how you're gonna do that. And then you wanna double check to make sure it's not gonna leak. And then you wanna come right here and inspect the washer for your, for your drain plug. If you need it, you can change it. So what I would recommend is you check your drain plug and you check the washer right here. If you need the washer, you can change it. But if you didn't order the washer, what you can do is put it back. If it weren't leaking, it's not gonna leak. You can put it back and then get the, and then get it for the next oil change. Just try to remember to get it for your next oil change. All right. I changed this one on this to, to change this right here. I changed the washer, but to change the washer, just use a flathead screwdriver, pry it up, pry it up till you can take it off. So once you do that, it's time to go ahead and put it back in. get your 17 millimeter tighten that up and then this you don't want to over tighten it if you don't have the torque wrench or torque flex just take your time once it's touched just go like a quarter turn and that should be it there's nothing more to it than that all right guys so so far everything looking good Put back everything up already as you guys can see. Just drop this. Um, you're gonna fill the system from right here. This one say take um 5W30. You can see it there on the cap. It say take five to six quart. No, six to seven quart. So the computer says six point something. So it's six to seven quart. So we're gonna go ahead and put five first and then we test it to see where, how far it is. And after that, if it need more, we'll add more if it need. Hope you don't need less. But we should go at around five quart and check it. I'm gonna put this, just a funnel. Link will be in the description for one. So guys, I put six quart. So far, I'm gonna go ahead and open, pull out the dipstick, wipe it off, push it back down, pull it out, and then check it. So six quart is show right at the mark. 
Like that, you just go ahead, tighten that up, and we're gonna go inside the vehicle and see what's going on for the inside. So, guys, once we get in the vehicle, we wanna have the vehicle. Wanna have the? We wanna start the vehicle. Let it vehicle run for like um a few minutes or maybe one minute. So while on the inside, what you can do is skip through the menu. So you wanna go all the way over to the gear set, and then you wanna scroll down to service service intervals and press OK. And you can see it right there. Scroll all the way down to reset. Tell me to hold it open. Scroll all the way down to reset and then you wanna go ahead and hit yes. And then it reset it back to 3000. So they set this one at 3000, so every 3000 miles that's what the customer want to do so customer do whatever what they want to do i would recommend 5,000 miles but they want three so that's their good that's their thing so now we're going to shut the car off let the oils drain down into the pan let it drain for like um three minutes and once that's done you can double check your oil and that and check if it need more you add more and that will be it peace out guys please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel peace out see you next time